Hey, Nicole. Hey, Reed. Thanks for having me to learn something out of the Gratitude Journal and Mindfulness Resources book. Yeah, I kind of wanted to do it, and then <laughs> I got a little nervous. So this is perfect. Yeah. Awesome. So what do you have for me today? So I have this technique. It's mm -hmm. called the pretzel. It's not what you eat. Yep, the pretzel. So it is a coping skill that I love because it really lowers anxiety and can stop a panic attack dead in its tracks. Oh, wow. Yep, yep. Okay, so panic attacks, anxiety, if I'm feeling anxious or anticipating an anxious anxiety attack inducing situation in the future. Yeah. I would do this to kind of... To lower this anxiety, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this, even though it has a funny name, it is Petzl. really good at lowering your anxiety. Yes. Okay, so how do we do this? Okay, so we're going to take four deep breaths. We're gonna do this together, okay? Okay. We're also going to be crossing our legs and arms, okay? And That's the opposite of what? I, it's a pretzel, oh, right? So we're not gonna uncross and clear and ground and center, we're gonna we're we're gonna okay. we're gonna pretzel up. All right. Got okay. It. Okay. But we do that because this is what we call our midline, right? So by having our arms and legs cross over this midline, it brings calm and balance to our left Ooh. and right hemispheres of our brain. So this really pulls us out of that fight, flight, or freeze response. Right. Right. So it's gonna ground you by using both sides of the brain. I like that. Yeah, so okay. there's some science behind the, <laughs> the pretzel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready to get started? I'm ready. Okay, so let's get comfortable in our chairs, uh -huh. all right? So put your legs out just a little bit in front of you. Okay. Okay, and what is your dominant hand? Is it your right or your left? Right hand. Your right, okay. So. For us, we're going to do everything right. If somebody is watching this video and they're left-handed, they're going to do the opposite of what we're going to do. Okay. Okay? So you're getting settled in yeah. your chair. Really comfy, not long, tall spine. No, just no. We're just going to get comfortable okay. and relax. So we're going to take our right ankle and place it over our left. Okay? We're going to put our hands straight out in front of us. Yeah, good. Now we're gonna take our palms and face them out. Uh -huh. Right hand over the left, good job. Uh -huh. Intertwine your fingers, bring that in. Where it's comfortable. So if you wanna lower your hands, you can do that. Good job, Reed. Excellent. So now we're gonna start with our breaths, but if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes or you can gaze down at the floor, your choice. But we're going to, together, start with a deep inhale in through your nose and long extended breath out. And when you let that breath out, you're gonna do it what they call through pursed lips and you're gonna extend that breath. So let's do another breath in. Hold and out. One more breath in. breath in and out so with your eyes still closed or gazing down at the floor I want us to take two minutes and I want you to picture a happy memory something that puts a smile on your face. If you can't 
can't think of a happy memory. What about a safe place? This can be something that is real or imagined. So it could be walking in the woods with your dog, listening to the birds chirp. Or it could be sitting on the beach with your toes in the sand. If you can't come up with a happy memory or a safe place, you can count to 120. So Reed, let's get started with that now. If your mind wanders, just gently bring it back. That was a quick two minutes, it felt like. My like happy memory kind of stuff wasn't very planted though. As, the, as short as that two minutes felt, like it was like skipping around yep. different memories. And that's okay too. Okay. You know, as long as you can kind of stay there and you're not thinking about external things that mm. are going on. But yeah, yeah it is. and and two that two minutes that 120 seconds brings your body back down to what they call homeostasis okay so it takes you out of that fight flight or freeze right and it's okay if your mind jumps around because that's what our mind does but it's just bringing it back you got it okay you got it all right I think I remember Candace Champagne yes. doing this, you know, it, it wasn't like part of the lecture. She would just teach it oh, randomly during right. whatever lecture it came up in. Yeah. And she called it a hug, not a pretzel, like a butterfly hug. Oh, see, that is a little but different. But I like pretzel. Yeah. yeah I oh, like, that's this. That is a butterfly hug. Oh, we yeah. should do that next. Yeah. Next time. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. All, All right. right. So pretzel's different. Pretzel's different. Pretzel up. This is butterfly. That's butterfly. Next time butterfly. Pretzel is... Now, can I do pretzel standing? If I cross my... Like, what if I'm... I mean, probably not. Probably better to But I will that. have to say, when I can't sleep, uh -huh. if I've got my mind just racing at night trying to go yeah. to sleep, I can pretzel up. Okay. Yeah. So... It, not only helps with anxiety, it helps with insomnia. Especially when you have the racing thoughts from anxiety. Homeostasis. Yeah. Homeostasis. All right. Any last minute thoughts, words of wisdom to share with? Use it, use it, use it. We call it our tool bag. You gotta bring the tools out, so use it. It is very helpful. Use it. <laughs> you gotta use it. 
You gotta use it. See you next time. See ya.